What's up, everybody? It's your favorite first of threes, favorite nerd. And today we are looking at the X Transbots Overdrive, their first Omnibot release. And I'm anxious to take a look at this guy. I'm sure you are too, but in order to do so, we need to look at accessories. So he comes with three types of blasters. Um, we have this one uh, that will collapse and then extend. We have this one with this sort of like outreaching peg here down at the bottom. And then we have this one, which is the double barreled one, uh, and this also collapses. Now, this one with the peg at the bottom can peg into the back of the alt mode to have that going for it. Then underneath, there's these three pegs. The other two, once folded up, can theoretically be stowed in there. You have to collapse this. You know, I don't have necessarily, necessarily the right fingers for that job. Uh, but you know what? And while we're here, this head, so to speak, in um, when it comes in packaging, it's like it, it lays flat. You can flip the head up to kind of cover down the face a bit if that bothers you. It doesn't really bother me either way. Um, but, you know, with the head flipped up and then the two weapons stowed, you know, it kind of blocks the face. So that's another element to kind of consider. Um, that I think is kind of a, an initial turn off because uh, initially it just comes with the head laying flat. And he can hold all of those with tabs in the palm of his hand. And that goes for the third gun as well. And Keith has a tendency to kind of give you a lot of accessories. So you also get blast effects. You get two different types of double barrel ones and then you get two different types of like single blast effects. They're an orange translucent plastic. The double barrel ones will work for both the front, the larger ones, and then the double barrel gun on the smaller one. And then the singles will work on the single barreled weapons as kind of predicted. And there's car mode. Rolls like a champ, rubber tires, nice uh, die cast metal coming through for I think the, the wheels there, which looks good. You know, it gives that like real metal look. We have red paint. Black translucent plastic that's pretty uh, dark. So that's nice. Brake lights, turn signals, all that stuff's painted. It looks really good. It's really sharp. Uh, the grill is painted. We got the silver, the little details there. Yeah, no complaints really. Uh, a number of features, of course. The uh, door is open. If you just push against the, the side mirrors there, that's fine. It'll get open inside. There's seats, steering wheel, all sorts of detailings. Then, of course, there's also the kind of like alt mode of this, uh, which is kind of varying degrees of fine. You have this thing here that opens up, and then that allows you to rotate your front kind of cannons. You have your wings that come out to the side. You know, you can adjust those a bit. You can even have them like kind of extreme. You can have them sitting right alongside. Whatever floats your boat, they flap as well. And then you have uh, this whole section here that flips up, but you can actually just start doing it from here. And that'll help you. There, you can do it without flipping it up, honestly. Um, and then you have that look. You know, only thing with mine, this flap, <laughs> once the wing comes down, this flap, like, wants to come, you know, like, now, you know, that's that's the end of that, right? So, even if I had, like, it doesn't have a flight stand, but even if it did, um, you know, I would kind of, this piece would always kind of be hanging out. Hanging out, hanging around with the clowns from out of town, you know what I mean? Oh, and then there's also this bit here, you can push up on these and activate the headlights. Running red lights, no headlights. That's an Onyx record. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's cool. It's cool enough, I mean, you have to do it, right? Really, like to do these guys, you like have to have this element to them or it's like, it's not really finished, is it? So I think it works well enough, you know, <laughs> barring that, of course. And size comparison wise, there it is next to Tiger Track. So pretty much the size of your standard masterpiece car. Let's get him transformed. I can't get this other headlight down. Um, you know, I've tried everything. I'm hoping that something allows me to get to it in the in the transformation. All right. So we got to get some of this stuff out of our way. 
So open up these doors here. You gotta pull this hood up. You can actually get that up because we need to get the legs down. That's gonna be our first step. Get these wings out of your way. Once the wings are out of your way, you'll notice that piece, if yours is like mine, will fall right down. So with this piece, you can open up this and uh, flip this black piece down to the opposite side. Just, uh, just you know, mainline this a little bit to your liking. And we got to get these arms out a little bit. In order to do that, you got to rotate these tires in just to get the clearance. Tire in. Get the arm out. All right, with the arms out of your way, then you can disconnect here from the bottom, fold those in, and then you can just split the legs. Make sure these are nice and out of the way. And I just broke it, didn't I? Rotate that down. Yep. Broke it. All right. You got to flip down this little piece here. Make sure that piece is open. Um, this piece would have the foot attached to it. Rotate that down. Uh, there's a little flap in here. It's obnoxiously in there. And it's got to clear that light. there and that's not good either the clearance isn't good on there barely gets past the light um, rotate this panel over this panel comes up this panel comes up and grabs a hold of it oh wait this little uh, panel here also rotates down and then that all fits together and then that one slides into the inside and then your foot would come down and do all sorts of other other stuff that hopefully I can show you on this side. I got the clearance for it now. Um, rotate down, just be careful. A lot of torque here, little tiny clip that's holding it. All right, let's see. Rotate all of this. Oh wait, over here we didn't do this. Once again, we have to get this little panel out. Once you got it out, thank your lucky stars. Then, Push this piece down, actually rotate that piece out, that piece down, this little red piece comes down. Uh, let's see here. This foot has to sit like that. This piece comes around, but we gotta get a panel out. And then we can connect all of this. And then that sits alongside it. And I think that's it. There's two flank pieces that have to spin around to the front. And then these pieces, these like gray, they're like dark gray, they have to rotate around to the back. And then there's a abdominal piece that has to flip up so that it's sitting flat. And if everything is right, then this should come down. All right, we gotta get that. Head out. And there, spin that head around, so to speak. And then if everything is done right, this should come down and tab in underneath there all right move the shoulders into the proper position uh sit the door down along the the side of his arm the seat 
needs to, let's see, flip down and then s slide over. And then that will allow you to kind of have the full extension of the elbow there. And then these two pieces collapse and the wing sits alongside of it and then slide the hand down and spin it around. So same thing for the other side. Bring this over, bring it around, flip the seat down and then slide it over, which will allow you to extend the forearm. Bring the fist down, spin it to the proper location, sit the door along the side, rotate the wing down and then the cover down piece on top so that it fills in, sit the wing alongside of it, and there you are. Then for the backpack, you basically have this notch here that goes up inside of there, and then you have these females here that connect to males on both sides of the flank. Um, and even this is like, it's not necessarily the easiest, because they both have to be kind of at the right, and they're on the same pin. So, there, that's properly connected. I'll clean them up, uh, we'll take a look at them. So let's have a look at the figure. Getting it tight on the head sculpt for Dennis. Um, and I actually like the head sculpt a good bit. Uh, I still have this, <laughs> dude, this figure is trash. Um, but I still have this headlight that's stuck, don't worry about that. The head is on a hinge swivel. Uh, I like the silver paint on the visor, and I like the black paint on the helmet. The problem with the swiveled hinge for the articulation is that the tolerance is off. So as you go to manipulate it, the flap that the neck actually sits on is going to go instead. See? And then it'll go once you find the end. But you can get all the way up. The flap will rotate down so you can get the head down a good bit as well and then you get the swivel. So the articulation is engineered there but the the tolerance for it, the assembly, the build of it is is way off. We'll back out a little bit. All right. We have uh, the detailings in the abdominal area that I think are pretty accurate. Uh, we have the yellow paint, red paint, blue paint on top of the silver paint. So lots of paint, lots of paint. Waist swivel. There's a little bit of a, a, a hinge here that I guess you could call an ab crunch, but to be honest, it just kind of feels like the rest of the build of the figure. You have a swivel at the shoulder, you have a hinge that gets you out to 90 degrees, and you even have a butterfly joint. That's well done. Love to see it. The uh, tire wants to come with it because once again, uh, it's built by someone that, that doesn't understand or have any idea or dexterity in their hands. We have a bicep swivel. Uh, bicep and forearm are painted. The joint is not, which is fine. And we have a double jointed elbow that gets you past 90 degrees. Wrist swivel. And the fingers are on a base pin knuckle. The index finger is individually articulated. And the thumb also swivels out. Now, the sliding bit uh, also doesn't really stay stuck. Once again, build issue. Articulation is the same for the other side. All right, hips. Uh, the pelvis is kind of fine. I uh, wish we had something on the sides here, but kind of fine. We have universal joints that get you the full Van Dam. They get you the full Monty. So no issues there. Thighs are completely painted with the red triangles added on. Thigh swivel. Double jointed knee that gets you past 90 degrees. Uh, the QC done by a complete idiot. <laughs> Even the stickers got QC. Um, and then we have the lower legs, which are just the car detailings that we've already talked about. Then we have the ankles. You do, let me swipe that up, maybe not move that too hard. You do get an ankle tilt up and ankle tilt down. It has a tendency to kind of move the whole thing instead of just this piece, which is what should move. And then a rocker and a toe hinge that I'm not going to press because I don't want to break the other side. Uh, and then blue, yellow, and white paint on the feet. And uh, there he is from the back. You know. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can get that headlight down. 
There it is. And uh, there he is on the shelf that he's going on, and uh, the other two I plan on putting there. You know, and then that shelf is completely done. But bummer, man. Bummer that it broke. Final thoughts wise, we'll start with the negatives. It's a build issue. And that's aside from my break. I put too much pressure on that, obviously. But I do manipulate this stuff a lot and I don't feel like I was being any more heavy handed than I am usually. So for you, certainly use caution. But it's not just that joint, is it? Where the head connects to the neck is too tight. Where the wrist slides, it's too loose. Where the waist moves, it's too loose. Where the toes move, it's too tight. Where the shoulders move, it's too tight. Where the hips move, it's too loose. The little flap, even in car mode, that has to be held up with the wing because it's just not tolerance properly. It's it's not built well. Get it together, Keith. This is a joke. At his level in this stuff, these sorts of things shouldn't be happening all throughout the piece. Let alone the build and tolerance issues related to those headlights that I was able to use a hammer and fix. Even when you move the shoulders, the tires start moving with it. Like it's just poorly assembled. And some of that is from a design perspective. And those are my issues. Positives wise, I dig the sculpt, I dig the car mode, and the paint is beautiful. And the materials feel pretty good. They don't hold up under pressure, but they feel good. And that's it, that's all I got. The gimmicks are cool, but they don't work right. I got flaps flipping where they shouldn't. I got headlights stuck in open positions. It's $110. I wish I would've just taken it to the bar. Strong pass from me. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.